We are here again in Dallas, 2011, and we have this interview, a few questions, with Dr. Peter Heng Bushang. And um, my question now, Peter, is about um, publishing papers. Uh, we, we know we do research and we need to publish our papers, and we always try to, to send for the best journals we have, and one of them is, is the American Journal of Orthodontists. And you are one of the reviewers and one guy that always uh, it's reading the papers and approving. So why it's getting harder and harder to publish papers in, in the good journals? It's getting harder to publish in the orthodontic journals because there's more competition is one reason. More people are submitting. And when you have competition like that, it drives quality up. It drives the quality of the, the research up. And we're getting now, um, there used to be a time 10, 15 years ago when if you wanted, you had an idea, you, you would then go and um, go into somebody's private practice and collect a sample of individuals that are treated a certain way and then you'd go and maybe find a control sample someplace else and compare them. That type of research is getting very hard to publish because it's just not well controlled. We can't really be sure that those are the treatment effects. Um, there used to be a time when people would do research, they would um, have a type of bracket or a type of cement and they would get collect a bunch of teeth and then put them, you know, put the brackets on and pop them off and look at bond strengths and that kind of research is not being published anymore either because it, you know, it's just not, um, they're looking for better quality. They're looking for research much more, you know, if you can do something experimentally, um, that's going to be much more likely to be published. And if you do clinical types of studies where you actually have prospective studies, that's really the key, is doing something prospectively so you can actually control the, the design. You, can, you have control. You can, you can say which subjects you're going to use. You can have control over the treatment and make sure that it was done all the same way. And then you have control in terms of how to evaluate the outcomes. That's really the key. It's the experimental types of research and then the prospective type of clinical research. I think those are going to, we're going to see more and more of that. And it, if you do that correctly, it's hard not to get that published. Um, but the other kinds of research, which we used to have mostly the, the old, um, the non-control type of, of, of study where we're uh, just a comparison, um, or maybe the case series, th those things are going to be harder and harder to publish in the future. Okay, thank you.